In this lesson, we're going to review some important things about working with percentages that you need to know in order to proceed with exponential functions. Let's start with an important fact. First of all, every percent can be written as a decimal. To convert a percent to a decimal, we simply move the decimal point two places to the left. Here's how it works. Suppose we have the number 12%. We want to rewrite this as a decimal so that we can use it in mathematical calculations. We begin by adding the decimal point to the number if it's not already written. We see no decimal point here, so we put a decimal point directly after the 12. Now we move the decimal point two places to the left. We have the number 0 0.12. Written as a decimal, 12% is 0 0.12. That's the number we can use when performing mathematical computations. Here's one for you to try. Can you write the number 20% as a decimal? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's see how you did. We begin by adding the decimal point since one is not already written in the number. We then move our decimal point two places to the left. 0 0.20. There's no need to write the zero at the end so we can simply write 0 0.2. Writing 0 0.2 is equivalent to writing 20%. Here's another one for you to try. 6% and then 3 and 1 half percent. See if you can convert these to decimals. Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's see how you did. 6% we add the decimal point since there's no decimal point already written. We then move our decimal two places to the left. Notice we have to add an additional zero in front. Written as a decimal, 6% is 0 0.06. How about 3.5%? In order to proceed, first convert the percent to a decimal. 3.5% is 3.5%. The decimal point is already written so we simply need to move it two places to the left. Written as a decimal, we have 0 0.035. 0 0.035 is equivalent to writing 3 and 1 half percent. The next topic that we really must talk about in order to be prepared to work with exponential functions is how to increase or decrease by a percentage. Let's start with increasing. Suppose we want to increase the number 52 by 8%. Here's how you need to think about this. If we increase by 8%, it means we have 100% of what we started with plus 8% more. 100% plus 8% more means we have 108%. We can convert that to a decimal, 1.08, and then use that as our factor or multiplier. If we take 52 times 1.08, we find the result 56.16. 56.16 is the number 52 increased by 8%. We have 100% of what we started with 52 plus 8% more. Here's one for you to try. Can you increase the number 47 by 12% using the same process that we just illustrated? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. If we increase by 12%, we have 100% of what we started with plus 12% more. 100% plus 12% is 112%. Convert that to a decimal and we find that our factor or multiplier is 1.12. 47 times 1.12 gives us a total of 52.64. 52.64 is 100% of what we started with, 47, plus 12% more. Here's one more problem for you to try. Can you increase 92 by 7%? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's see how you did. If we're increasing by 7%, it means we have 100% of what we started with plus 7% more. That's a total of 107%. Convert that to a decimal and we have the multiplier or factor 1.07. Take the number 92 
times 1.07 and we find the result of 98.44. 98.44 is 92 increased by 7%, 100% of what we began with plus 7% more. Now let's take a look at the situation where we decrease by a percent. Suppose we want to decrease 48 by 10%. In other words, we started with 100% of what we had, and we took 10% away. If we start with 100% and we take 10% away, we have 90% remaining. When we're decreasing, we're basically saying what percent is left. If we take 10% away, 90% is left. 90% converted to a decimal is 0.90. We can multiply 48 by 0 0.90, and we find the result is 43.2. In a single step, we were able to reduce 48 or decrease 48 by 10% by simply realizing that if 10% is gone, 90% is the amount that remains, and that 90% is our factor or multiplier. Here's one for you to try. Can you decrease 36 by 7% using the method that I just showed you? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We're decreasing by 7%. We had 100% of something and we took 7% away. That means we have 93% left, the amount that remains. Convert that to a decimal, 0.93. We take 36 times 0 0.93 and we find the result of 33.48. This is the amount that we have left when 36 is decreased by 7%. Here's one last example for you to try. Can you decrease 50 by 2.5%? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's see how you did. We're decreasing by 2 and 1 half percent, so we have 100 percent minus 2.5 percent. That means 97.5 percent is what remains. Convert that to a decimal. 0 0.975 is our factor or multiplier. 50 times 0 0.975 gives us the result of 48.75. If we decrease 50 by 2.5%, what remains is 48.75. These techniques, while not the only way to increase or decrease by a percent, are incredibly important when working with exponential functions, so be sure to practice them before moving forward. This is everything you need to know in order to increase or decrease by a percent and in order to prepare for working with exponential functions. Remember, you can learn more about exponential functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.